Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Pinaka is an indigenous multi-barrel rocket launch system developed by DRDO. It's a massive system in itself as each Pinaka battery consists of six launchers, six loader vehicles, six replacement vehicles, two vehicles for ferrying the command post and a vehicle for carrying the meteorological radar. A battery of six launchers can utilize an area of 1000 meter by 800 meter. Each battery has 72 rockets in ready to fire condition and all of these 72 rockets can be fired in 44 seconds taking out an area of 1 km square. Each launcher are capable of firing in different direction as well. Each Pinaka regiment is formed by three Pinaka batteries. The Pinaka is operated in conjunction with Indian Army's Swati weapon locating radar. The Indian Army is networking all its artillery units together with DRDO's Artillery Command and Control System ACCS, which will act as a force multiplier. The Pinaka units will also be able to make use of Indian Army's SATA that is surveillance and target acquisition. The first Pinaka regiment was raised in February 2000. Army has already inducted four regiments and six more regiments are on orders to be inducted by the year 2024. DIDU has developed various versions of Pinaka rocket system. These are Pinaka MK1 having range of 37.5 km which has been further extended to enhanced range Pinaka MK1 having range of 45 km. DIDO has also developed Pinaka Mark II having range of 60 km, guided Pinaka having range of 75 km and 122 mm extended range rocket with range of 40 km. The Pinaka rockets can achieve speed between 3.6 to 4 Mach. The procurement of guided Pinaka rocket has also been cleared by Defense Equation Council. As per the 17th September 2023 report from the Hindu, DRDO is also exploring increasing the range of Pinaka rockets to 120 km and 300 km. The Army is scheduled to conduct trials of the 120 km extended and guided Pinaka rockets very soon. The private firm Solar Industry is also developing long-range precision rocket system. On 15th June 2022, the firm has submitted proposals to manufacture two high-mobility long-range precision rocket systems which are called Maheswarastra 1 and Maheswarastra 2 under the Make 2 category of Make in India initiative. Under Make 2 initiative, the companies will have to build prototypes without funding support from the government. Talking about Maheswarastra 1, it will be a multi-barrel guided rocket launch system with a range of 150 km and will carry 250 kg of custom designed warhead to defeat variety of targets. Maheswarastra 2 will have a range of 250 km and will carry 375 kg of multi-purpose warhead for neutralization of targets. Both of them are going to be a guided rocket. The 250km range rocket is going to be based on BrahMos supersonic cruise missile without a seeker. The Army version of BrahMos missile does not require a seeker as most of its target are going to be a stationary one like bunkers, command center, ammunition depot. The cost of BrahMos missile is close to 40 crore rupees whereas the new 250km rocket proposed by Sula industry is going to be priced at just 8 crore rupees. While Brahmos is a silver bullet of Indian Armed Forces, its higher cost is however not sustainable in prolonged war. The Brahmos carries warhead of 250 kg but Maheswarastra 2 will carry a heavier warhead of 375 kg. So all these rockets which are being developed or under development are going to be spin-off of DRDO's Pinaka MBRL system. In future, Pinaka will serve as a model system capable of launching rockets ranging from 40 to 300 kilometers. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.